Anna and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Carter and I'm in sixth grade. And today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of a lab book from um, the Phantom Tollbooth. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this is the cover of it and here's the back. And Carter Hand did this lettering of the Phantom Tollbooth. And this is made out of six file folders. Um, and it has, it's quite layered and has a lot of different parts to it. So, first let's start where when you open it, the first thing you see is this little picture of the cover of Phantom Tollbooth book. And then you look a little to the side and you see a picture of Milo, the main character, and the toll booth. And then there's a little description that Carter wrote of um, the book. So then um, you open the book. Oh, um, there's actually, I wrote um, like fun facts about the author, Noreen Jester, and also, there's a couple facts about his illustrator. Um, yeah. So, tuck that back in. Then you open this up, and you see Carter handed the setting lettering. And then there's a map of the places that are in the book. Then, when you close that, there's a little pullout here of place descriptions that Carter wrote. Okay, then you put that away, and then you open this up, and in the story there was also some kind of, um, I don't know, rivalry between two brothers who were given the land, a bunch of land, and um, they, each of them was called Dictionopolis and Digitopolis. Those were the names of the two cities. And so I took um, Digitop er, Dictionopolis because it's all about words and I like words. And Carter took Digitopolis because it's all about numbers and he likes numbers. So first we'll start with um, Dictionopolis. So um, here's some Dictionopolis vocabulary, like a couple of our like favorite words. Um, yeah. And then you open this up and there's a Dictionopolis description and I wrote about the king and his people, the letters, and a sibling rivalry between him and his brother. And then there's a picture of Milo driving up to Dictionopolis. Um, and then there's a couple of our it, Carter and I both got four tags with our favorite characters in them. So these are um, the cabinet members for the king, and this is a picture of the five of them. And then you flip it over, and there's the names of each of them. The Duke of Definition, the Minister of Meaning, the Count of Connotation, and the Earl of Essence and the Under Secretary of Understanding. So yeah, and then you put that one away, and then they were in Dictionopolis. And then later in the book, there's a um, a orchestra conductor named Chroma, and then there's a couple of words about him, and then there's um, talk. I really liked him. A um, couple of words about him. And then there was um, the demon of insecurity. And there's a quote from the book. Oh, insincerity, sorry. And then there's a picture of him. And then you open this. Oh, you go over to the Digitopolis vocabulary that Carter wrote. And then there's some of his favorite words. So you open this up, and there's his Digitopolis description. And 
then there's his favorite characters. There was Alec Bings, and that's a picture of him and Milo. And then a couple of words about him. And then the Dodecahedron. Some stuff about him. And then uh, the Doctor Discord. Stuff about him. And then um, the Math Magician, the King of Digitopolis. Then you open this up and you see themes of the book. Carter wrote these. There's a picture. And then there was all the demons. And this is some description of some of the demons. Okay. Yeah. And then we move over to the clever tools of writing that were used in this book. There was the opening hook. There was the grammar and word order. And then there was some cliches and like split hairs. Each of the cabinet members could do one of these things. Leave no stone unturned. Split hairs. Make hay while the sun shines. Um, and then there was make mountains out of molehills. And what was this one? And hanging by a thread. So, and then there was the hook and return item of that. So yeah, that's basically our whole um, folder. Carter and I had a lot of fun making it, and thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and see you guys later. Bye! Bye.